it's a story about a, a chef who uh, is very well established in a in a successful restaurant, but isn't cooking the food that he he's passionate about. Uh, he gets a, a bad review that calls him on it, and he gets into a big Twitter war with a reviewer. Uh, he ends up losing his job because he humiliates himself on social media, and he has to start all over again cooking food that he connects with, and and ends up getting a food truck and traveling cross country with his son. Twitter and Facebook and 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 YouTube. Uh, tear Carl Casper, the chef in this movie, they tear his career apart. He loses everything because he embarrasses himself publicly. But his 10-year-old son, who is a bit of a master when it comes to Twitter and social media, uh, ends up building up the, the food truck that they get together through, uh, through his ingenuity. So there's, there's heavy-duty uh, negatives and positives to social media depending on how you use it. I think there's something really uh, personal and passionate about about truck food, especially if it's if it's a truck that's that's been started by a chef who has the skill and the training, but chooses to make food for the masses. I think a lot of chefs get frustrated by only having uh, posh establishments with expensive menus and hard reservations to get. Chefs love to feed people; they love to make people happy, and so if they can pull up with a truck and feed hundreds of people uh, and and share that, it's even though it's harder work. I think that they like the interaction. They like the satisfaction that they bring. You know, I, I studied pretty as hard as I could with as many chefs as I could, and through Roy Choi, who was very involved with the film and a co-producer, I met a lot of them, and uh, I had asked them all lots of questions whenever I met them or worked with them, and tried to incorporate all of that feedback into the film. And I've gotten responses in person on Twitter. They all seem to like it. They're very picky about Hollywood movies, especially uh, that that pertain to the culinary scene. And, and they seem to think I captured it, which is, which is a big relief to me. I trained for a lot of things. That's part of the fun of being an actor. You learn how to learn things. And so when I played Rocky Marciano many years ago, I, I learned to box. For the replacements, I learned to play football. Uh, I was in Deep Impact, so I had astronaut training. So they're always teaching you things as an actor. But this one, I think I, I'll actually continue that because cooking is something you could do in your day-to-day in your -day life. Just, just learning how to cook, I was trying, you know, I was studying with chefs and, and, and as they would teach you, of course, you get to taste everything they were making. And eventually my, my skills got up to par, uh, close to theirs, not, not quite on their level. And then, and then the food that was being prepared by the chef, Chef Roy Choi on the set was there. And so much of it we had to be eating during the filming, so we, we ate very well. I wrote the film in only a few weeks, so, so I did spend a, a great deal of time you know, uh, uh, just jamming and, and, and turning out as many pages as I could. So there were all-nighters on this thing. I, I wanted to finish before, before I lost the, the inspiration. What are you hoping fans take away from this film? Uh, this film, I just hope they enjoy it. Uh, we had a lot of fun and, and, uh, and hopefully they'll connect with it.